I will be constructing a camera mount for a Canon A495. The mount is being created to have a solid base for a shutter servo to be mounted. The camera measurements need to be of the particular camera you want to use. Measure the width, height, and thickness of the camera. Add some spacing to the thickness measurement top and bottom for a servo to be mounted securely over the shutter button and to the bottom to allow for the mounting method you have chosen. I marked my plexiglass piece prior to the video so it's ready to go. As you can see when the camera is fitted to the center of the plexiglass piece there's plenty of room This will fit the camera fairly tightly when screwed to the camera by the tripod mounting hole. I have formed many mounts of this type over the years, so I developed a simple tool to help me. It's an arrangement of square sticks bolted together and spaced to allow the center section to be opened and a piece of plexiglass inserted. It's fairly loose and as can be seen it will not hold a piece of plexiglass without another small piece to counter the first and complete the clamp. Once this is done though, the work piece needs to be aligned so that the mark is outside the wood pieces and then it's ready to be heated and formed. Check your alignment carefully. Make sure it's straight across the If you're not going to use the sticks, if you're going to do it by freehand, make sure you apply heat to the mark, not all over the glass, just along the mark. The heat's applied to both sides for approximately 7 to 10 seconds. I like to heat both sides as it ensures a better fold. When the outer piece begins to soften, it's time to make the fold. Although it's not really clear from the view in the video, I do not like to touch the heat gun against the plexiglass as it will score the plexiglass and weaken it. As the heat is applied to both sides, the piece will soften and begin to sag. When that happens, it's ready to be worked. Just place it on a firm surface and bend it. You can substitute your ruler here or any straight piece to make a 90 degree bend. When folded, the plexiglass will cool to rigidity fairly quickly, but it is still hot to the touch and the larger the piece, the longer it will stay hot. Once you have the fold along the line, you're ready to repeat everything, align, heat, and fold again. A trial fit of the camera to the mount should be done to test the fit of the camera to your measurements. I usually worry about the top as that's where the servo is to be mounted. I also check the first fold to see that I was on the mark. When plexiglass is folded or bent, it's never at 90 degree angle and the fold itself takes up some space. So when test fitting, check your bottom mark for alignment to the top fold. Now is the time to make adjustments if there is a discrepancy. I purposely made my first fold short so that it could be shown. If it happens, it's not a problem as you will just simply adjust your second fold to make the fit. Because of the right angle and the thickness of the plexiglass and its strength, it allows for quite a bit of play for servo mounting to the, so the exact fit is not really critical. You're just going to have the bottom be where the mount hole is so that you can screw this mount to the camera through the tripod mount. Video was shortened and here's the second fold.
doesn't take a lot of pressure at all. I'm just holding the, the end down to ensure that it stays square. Once everything's cooled, you can release. And then do a trial fit quickly to see that the camera actually fits. Looks like we have a winner. Now, turn this up on the bottom, mark your hole, and then this can actually be used as a spacer between your regular mount. If you 